Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone, we have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about Sunlight serves as Earth's external source of energy interacting with the layers of the atmosphere. This will be the fourth quarter topic on learning competency number 9. This lesson is under the Matatag. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to describe the different layers of the atmosphere The second one is to explain the interaction of solar energy with the layers of Earth's atmosphere And the third one is to appreciate the importance of sunlight serves as Earth's external source of energy Interacting with the layers of the atmosphere by answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the teacher will ask the learners to look at the illustration and answer the guide questions. Following are the composition of Earth's atmosphere. So the first one is the nitrogen and it has 78% and it is the most abundant gas in our atmosphere. The second one is the oxygen and it is composed of 21% and it is essential for animal life on Earth. And another gases which compose of 1% and this includes the argon and carbon dioxide. And the last one is the water vapor and it is consists of 0.25% total water content in the atmosphere. The first layer of the atmosphere is the troposphere. So it is considered our living layer. So it is the closest to Earth and extends up to 13 kilometers from the surface. When it comes to dense, it contains 75% of the atmosphere's mass. And when it comes into temperature variation, it drops from 13 degrees Celsius at the surface to negative 50 degrees Celsius at the top. And when it comes to the pressure change, it decreases from 1000 to 100 MB at the top. Another layer of the atmosphere is the stratosphere, so it is the ozone layer home. So the location of this, it extends from 13 km to 48 km above Earth's surface. And when it comes to temperature, it ranges from negative 50 degrees Celsius at the bottom to negative 15 degrees Celsius at top. And when it comes to pressure, decreases from 100 MB to 1 MB at top. Another layers of the atmosphere is the mesosphere. So it is the meteor burner. So the location it is 85 km. When it comes to the top it's negative 90 degrees Celsius and has the pressure of 0.01 MB and it is the middle layer where meteors often burn up and it is 48 kilometer bottom has negative 30 degrees Celsius temperature and 1 MB pressure. Another layers of the atmosphere is the thermosphere. So it is where the aurora borealis is located. So the bottom, it starts with 85 km and the temperature reach up to negative 90 degrees Celsius and the pressure reach up to 0.01 MB. So the rapid temperature increase and to the top, it up to 700 km and the temperature reach up to 350 degrees Celsius plus and the pressure is 0.0001 MB. 
another layers of the atmosphere is the exosphere. So it is the gateway to space. So it has a vast expanse and extends up to 10,000 kilometer into space. And then it has low gravity. Gas molecules can escape into space. And satellite zone. So maybe satellite orbit in this layer. The following are the atmospheric pressure gradient in the layers of the atmosphere. And for the lesson activity, the teacher will allow the students to analyze the tabulated data from the work example. Thank you. 